Hi, I'm Kate with RGG EDU, and I'm gonna show you how to install and run the copper action. So if you're unfamiliar with actions in Photoshop, there are a couple ways we can get to the actions panel. One is to select our arrow over here, which will pop open the panel. Or alternatively, we can go up to our window tab, scroll down to actions, and our actions tab will pop up. Now you'll notice that we don't have anything loaded into the actions panel right now, so we need to load the action in. And to do that, we're gonna click our tab here, scroll down to load actions. Now you'll see that I have my actions saved into a folder on my desktop. If you haven't used the actions before, or you just downloaded them, they'll be in your download folder. Now I'm gonna select my copper action here and click open. And you'll see now that our action has been loaded into the panel. We can expand our set here and select the actual action. And to run it, we just hit this play button down here and there we go, our action is loaded. Let's take a look at our copper action and see how it's affecting our image. If we turn this off for a second, this is our original image here. And this is with our copper action turned on. Now you'll notice a couple things. For one, it's reducing the contrast and the luminosity of the image. So we have a little bit more of a darker, somber feel. It's also sort of unifying the colors within the image. So they're more in this sort of brown tone. Let's go into our action and break down exactly what we're doing here. If we expand our actual action here, you'll notice it's comprised of all of these different layers. And each of these individual layers is named according to its function. So depending on the image you use, you can go into these individual layers and toggle them on and off, or you can adjust the opacity as well, whatever suits the image. This also works really well for studio images. So if we pull up a studio image here, for instance, and we run our action, you're gonna notice how the tones are compressed a little bit together, so we don't have such a huge dynamic range. We have a little bit more detail in the shadow. The highlights are brought down. You'll also notice that the orange in her skin tone and the orange of the dress are brought a little bit closer together. So we're sort of reducing the saturation. We're adding this vintage looking brown effect over the whole image. Here's just another example of a studio image. For this particular model, she has a little bit more magentas and red in her skin tones. So if we run our action here, it's gonna neutralize that. It's gonna bring this nice brown into her skin tone as well as the background. It's gonna reduce our luminosity just a little bit and it's gonna create this really classic look. This action is not necessarily for something that you wanna have a lot of high saturation. This is really meant for images that are a little bit more serious, a little more somber. By bringing in those brown tones, it really solidifies those colors and brings them closer together, desaturates a little bit for that really classic look. This is a great action for that.